Hey, welcome back to another video. So, <clears throat> if you follow me on Instagram uh, and Twitter, you might have seen a picture of this printer. Um, and this was uh, given to me by a friend, a co-worker, and uh, basically uh, his dad's got a lot of 3D printers that he goes through because he's working these things like crazy. And uh, <clears throat> he knew that I wanted one that had uh, dual extruders, which you can see this one does have. Uh, this thing basically has, you know, minor issues with it overall, but they're, they're definitely, you know, bigger issues. Um, for one, th this, this extruder is clogged. Um, it appears the tip is, is fine, but <clears throat> we're gonna have to get the tip out. And this one here is uh, clogged as well, but it's, it's down inside. Um, but then the, the bigger issue is the, the tip is missing and it would appear from the scrapes on the, on the actual uh, heater block there, if you could see that, um, it's, it's been abused a little bit and it's also very loose. So that's a problem, have to work on that. Um, the other issue and I've already taken a lot of the blue tape off is the blue tape was bad and had a bunch of dry glue um, <laughs> and uh, the, so the bed needs to be cleaned up not a huge deal but it is a heated bed so that's awesome it does have dual extruders so that is also awesome and uh, yeah I don't think it's gonna take too much to get this fixed one of the issues uh, that it also has is the screen backlight doesn't stay on unless you like pull on this outer housing so it's a wiring issue or something and I absolutely hate these buttons um, so I gotta get that fixed and then also these 3D printed feet one's missing back here so it wobbles a decent amount um, and I don't know much about this printer actually. I've, I've never heard of CTC. I need to go look it up. Uh, and it just says 3D printer here so um, and I can get some more info from, from my buddy so I'll be doing that too and, and uh, he's got another one of these exact same printers with kind of similar issues so I imagine uh, he'll be uh, posting some videos on, on the channel as well with uh, his findings for his uh, printer and uh, yeah it should be entertaining so I hope you stick around and, and watch this and uh, you know if you've got any suggestions if you know more about this printer uh, than I obviously do feel free to comment below and uh, let me know if there's something I should look out for or something you think I should do so I think this is going to be a really cool printer. My hope is to get um, get this thing all set up to do the dissolvable filament prints, and that way, um, you know, I can start printing some very uh, detailed prints that I can't do on my Robo for you know the reason that it's only got one extruder. So I'm really excited about this. Uh, but it will be some work. These heads in here are not easily accessible from from what I'm looking at. It appears that um, I'm going to have to take this off and, and who knows what else. So um, I'm going to go ahead and set up the camera and start doing some disassembly. No, actually it wasn't that bad to take this thing apart. A um, couple things, it almost looks like somebody tried to repair these fans or did repair them at one point because as you can see the, the connectors uh, are exposed through the, the label on these you know cheap Chinese fans. Very interesting that they're also 24 volt. That's really not typical. Um, 
but overall, not a bad design. I do think it's a little odd that both of these um, extruders are tied to the same cooling block, heat break, whatever you want to call it. I mean, they do have their own independent <clears throat> cooling and heat sink, but a lot of the heat from this guy will transfer this one, vice versa, potentially through this so that's a little odd um, and I think the only time that will really come into play if it happens that the temperatures do equalize up here is if you're printing two different kinds of filaments that require two drastically different uh, temperatures so yep we'll just have to kinda look at it um, now, as I said earlier, I think uh, <laughs> this there was some attempted uh, repairs potentially, but I'm noticing like this wire was actually smashed potentially uh, back in here where it installs. So I'll be pulling the heat shrink off of this and uh, making sure it didn't get damaged in any way because that is what um, grounds this what it looks like. I'm not actually sure. It's kind of an odd setup. Um, yeah, so it looks like there's two Allen screws here. Those are very small that hold the this whole assembly in place. And what I'm noticing as well is that this one isn't sticking out as much as this one. Um, that could be an issue. It could be from somebody trying to tighten it or loosen it. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it should just be as simple as taking the taking the unit apart all the way and just seating it back together how it should be. So we're looking at like three millimeters and let's see here uh, I can't even really measure that that way um, let's eyeball it not very accurate like 1.8 millimeters sticking out on this side my guess is that's not how it's supposed to be so I'll definitely be fixing that uh, this whole thing though just looks kind of dark and and just weird my guess is it probably at one point got caked in filament and just roasted uh, melted right on this so I've got some work cut out for me but hey it's a free printer should be very fun I'm already having fun uh, uh, yeah this definitely both these heads are clogged as you can see there's filament stuck in there obviously there's filament stuck in here you can still see it but uh, yeah it's gonna be fun gonna be fun overall though not very hard tear down the stepper assemblies for the uh, filament feeding very interesting setup <coughs> pretty much just takes the filament in and I'm not actually really sure I guess it came out of this hole yeah either that one or that one Either way, I'll rewind the video and check because <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. That's the nice thing about recording all this is I can always go back and take a look. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to keep going. So here's all the pieces. Heat break, what I'm calling it. A couple of stepper motors. Uh, top hat for structure. A couple of heat sinks basic hardware and a couple of heat blocks and uh, this one's gonna be fun because I already took the heating element off I could probably just turn it connect it back up and uh, heat this up and then take this part off when it's hot so that that is another thing when you're <clears throat> uh, changing tips on the 3d printer extrusion uh, extruders sorry uh, you want to make sure this is hot um, because these are two different metals and they expand at different rates and 
so right now one of them has shrunk over the other one and if you try to take these apart uh, they, you'll inevitably break something um, you'll damage the threads or you know whatever so I will be temporarily connecting this back into uh, one of the heater uh, one in, uh, into one of the heaters and uh, getting a wrench on this and separating the two pieces and then that way I can continue the process of declogging these because um, they're they're really bad so yeah so stay tuned for the next video thanks for watching like comment subscribe all that fun stuff check out the Instagram and Twitter like I said, I'm, I'm usually putting pictures of stuff that's upcoming or uh, little side clips or, or pictures of stuff that doesn't make it to YouTube just because it's, you know, not really worthy of an entire YouTube video. Um, so stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to be doing a series as I get this thing back up and running, get Octopi and dial in all the settings. I'm sure that'll be a lot of fun. Thanks. Talk to you soon.